Welcome to the presentation for the design of the SSBP-based PCI game for attention and executive function training. This presentation will mainly focus on the important aspects and features of the project. To start off with the project background, BCI is predominantly used in the medical research domain where it is leveraged to help patients with disabilities, especially in the motor region which can be simply understood as how the brain functions properly and also physically. ASD Research for One is leveraging on BCI as it has the potential to provide a more accurate assessment of the brain function. However, in recent years, it has expanded out to many different research areas, and one such area is gaming. So why the focus on gaming? There are three main reasons to it, and one is because they are early adopters, and what this means is that gamers are very adventurous and are willing to try out innovative and creative games. This ties down to the second reason, and because of that, they are very receptive and willing to try out new technologies in their games, experimenting with how games can be more fun and unique to enjoy. Lastly, gamers are very willing to spend money on their favourite games. Not only that, when it comes to additional peripherals like extra controllers or even extra game contents, they are so much more prepared and willing to spend money. So currently, looking at each relevant research studies individually, most of them are only making use of one paradigm out of all the available options. And when we mention gaming in BCI, majority of the research experiments are not fully utilizing the elements and aspects of a game properly. What I mean is that they are using it as a medium and put more focus into conducting training or new research mechanisms to train a person's cognitive skills rather than develop an enjoyable game itself. Generally, SSVP or hybrid-based BCIs are not as widely used or have studies carried out on them. Therefore, the pro project objective is to develop a novel SSVP-based BCI game for attention and executive function training that is intuitively fun while also training the player's cognitive skill sets. With that, there are three main points that we want to look at, which is how feasible it is to develop a BCI game with SSVP that not only targets the average individual, but for ASD individual as well. The classification accuracy of asynchronous SSBP paradigm, and lastly, the training performance of the player on three areas, which are behavioral, physical, and cognitive. And the results gathered from this will help provide useful insights for researchers and game developers alike to consider when they design and develop future PCI games. With that, I propose a solution that is a 2D action genre SSVP-based PCI game. The game will aim to train up three important cognitive areas, which is joint attention, which is the ability to focus on a common point of interest with another individual, spatial awareness, how aware we are of the object around us, as well as the awareness of one's own body position in that same space. Executive function, which can simply be understood as a set of skills that allows us to manage every aspect of our lives. The game itself would require the following setup, which is the Big Brain Semi Dry EEG cap with 16 electrodes connected. The electrodes itself are plugged with foam based earplugs that are soaked in salt water to conduct the electric signals from our brain. The Toby Eye Tracker, as well as the Mio Armband that is used for some of the gesture in commands that are required as inputs for the game. With that, the experiment protocol shown was designed. The subject will start off in a relaxed state before proceeding with a pre-assessment that will be used to determine if there is any improvements made with the game. Followed by the non-SSVP calibrations and SSVP baselines which will be based on some of the key scenarios of the game. Due to a number of limitations such as domain knowledge or manpower, it is not possible to conduct the assessment in a setting that is being used clinically or even close to that. Therefore, our alternatives were created specifically for the project to capture important data which can be used to determine the level of improvement. For joint attention, subject will be presented with different images of a person with different gaze directions and they will have to identify and look at the same exact direction. The gaze information will be captured with the eye tracker and will be cross-checked with the ground truth that we have. For spatial awareness, subject will also be presented with different images. They have to be able to correctly answer the question that follows, 
which will test their visual spatial reasoning. Lastly, for executive function, subject will sit through a troop task that requires the subject to answer based on the colors presented rather than the word itself. This is to test for their reaction speed and decision making process. Next, we have the non-SSVP calibrations and the SSVP baselines that are broken down into more details. Rather than spend time discussing about every single detail, a short video demo will be shown instead that highlights the experiment process and some of the gameplay mechanics involved. And with that, concludes my portion of the presentation and let's move on with the demo. Thank you. So now you're here again knocking at my door A little too late for, I'm sorry for The lights went out cause you kept cutting the cord And I started to fade into your grave See I finally opened up my eyes And I saw me coming back to life That I'd be better See, I finally opened up my eyes 